just passed Lloyd Wells, who used to be part of Ali's retinue, was once a key scout for the Kansas City Chiefs. But that's Ernie Shavers into the ring now. Moving corner to corner, on his toes, past the color guard in ring center. And Ernie Shavers, who bows and declares that this time he will annex the tight. He had a shot at it with Ali. He gets a shot at the WBC version for the second time. And he seems to have the look of a confident fighter. So with the home Shavers fight coming up, we'll be right back. Shavers, he is still in his dressing room. Shavers already in the ring. And Shavers with a huge following here. Make no mistake about it. Indeed, a large contingent of people from Warren, Ohio, which is adjacent to Ernie's hometown. Ernie Shavers. And look at Holmes patiently taking his time, looking up at the television monitor right now as this reporter talks. And I've just been handed a series of sayings by Frank Luca, the manager of Ernie Shavers. Says here in front of me, dreams can come true. And then, interestingly, there's a quotation. A quotation of a man named Gawson Kanan, the brilliant screenwriter, playwright, director, sometime producer, Gawson Kanan, who wrote a book, and this is what it was. It takes a long time to become young. And so, and so Frank Luca has been doing his homework, his reading. Meantime, again, the crowd in the arena. And don't forget, live from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, ABC's Monday Night Football, the talent-laden New England Patriots against the Green Bay Packers of Bart Starr. You know about the Pats, Steve Grogan, Harold Jackson, Russ Francis. They've got the players. The Pack, the Pack may have memories, but there is something there. Holmes is really holding up Shavers. The tactic now seems utterly obvious. Freddie Brown just walking around in there, serving in the corner of Holmes. Shavers doesn't seem to be letting it affect him as he engages in badinage with some of the fans and waves to them. But we've seen this tactic tried before. George Foreman tried it on Muhammad Ali in Zaire, remember? It didn't work for George. I don't know if it'll work for Larry, but that much seems clear. Going back to my interview with both fighters, remember the way it was in the first fight as Holmes begins now to leave his dressing room to come out. Holmes using that constancy of movement, withstanding a savage right that landed in the second round, jabbing his way out of trouble with the jab and with movement, went on to an overwhelmingly easy decision. I myself thought at the time that would be the end for Ernie. Instead, it was another beginning. And there, coming down with the WBC championship belt being carried above his head and in front of him is the defending champion, Larry Holt. Well, at 35 or 36 or whatever he is really, Chavis has to know that this time it is it. There can be no further comebacks should he lose. Total crossword, crossroads fight for him. This time, for real. And for Holmes, the desire to prove himself all over again after Mike Weaver. All right. We're now on the verge, finally, of this WBC Heavyweight Championship fight. We'll be back in a moment. The Yankee Clipper. The man who looks better with every passing year. He's here with another guy. They have the best-looking white hair in the world, the two of them. They've grown gray beautifully. And the man I'm talking about, you are about to see. There he is, Cary Grant. Once, he was Archie Leach, a stilt walker at Coney Island. He became one of the greatest stars in the history of motion pictures. We're back to Ernie Shavers. I tell you, 
It's worth it to get old if you can look like DiMaggio and Grant, Chris. Why, don't you? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Davy Pearl is the referee of the scheduled 15 round championship bout, and I would think that he'd rub off some of the grease on the body and face of Larry Holmes. We'll see if he does. What was your honest opinion of Holmes's tactic? I thought it was Bush. You know, you don't, uh, you're the champion, and uh, I don't think you keep uh, a man like this waiting. But they did. And you, you said, talked about a set of pipes. Marvin Gaye is in the ring, Howard, to sing our national anthem. Tremendous talent. And a very sad man because he owns Andy Price, whom Leonard destroyed. Here is Marvin Gaye with the anthem. in his life but now this one last chance that we talked about before and kept waiting in the ring and I respect your candor Chris I respect it a very great deal when you said you thought Larry's behavior there is Holmes right there was Bush well it's unlike a, a young man that I really care a great deal about we've known him a long time Howard and I just think he was ill-advised all right, let's go to Chuck Hull, the ring announcer, for the introduction of the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges assigned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the next bout are Harold Buck, Lou Tabbitt, and Hal Miller. The referee is Dave Pearl. This is the main event of the evening. 15 rounds of boxing for the World Boxing Council Heavyweight Championship. Introducing... In the blue corner, fighting out of Warren, Ohio, weighing 213 pounds, the challenger, Bernie Shaver. 